Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, today I am doing a textured ocean wave painting. And off camera, I did do these textures already. And I use spackle and dap. I can always do an instructional video in another video. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prepare my paint. Okay. Now, um, technique I learned is if you add white paint to your other paints, it's going to give it a thicker opacity. Because um, a lot of colors like blue and yellow are very transparent colors. And you don't want to be working in 60 layers la later <laughs> trying to get your painting to get covered or to cover your surface. And here I am starting with a darker color. And with a lot of waves, I noticed that the outside colors are darker and the inside colors are lighter or like more transparent. Um, if you see in the Mosasaurus in the ocean wave, that's usually the lighter portion of the wave. Um, that's the part where you can see any kind of animal beings maybe if they get caught up in the ocean sometimes you can even see sand in it but this isn't a realistic painting so we're gonna go ahead and just experiment a little and I'm experimenting because I've never actually done an ocean way before never actually drew one I just so happened to accidentally texture up this painting literally because I couldn't get the 3d texture i wanted to with like piping but that's an explanation for another video and as you can see the middle part is a little more more turquoisey aquamarine and i like i use a lot of y or e at the end of my words <laughs> to make it sound cuter and so i'm doing of course a sunset all right so I wanted to go for like a mauve and coral color but the thing is mauve and coral tends to brown a bit so what I had to do is I had to wait for all this to dry what I'm doing right now is just mapping out where all my colors are because it's not the style I wanted it even though it's already looking pretty cute I kind of like it already and if I didn't continue from here I'd possibly be fine with that not bad for a first timer on this and of course I got this wooden panel which is what I'm the surface I'm using from Trekle Art Supplies paint I'm using is Amsterdam and Lucas you can get that off Jerry's Artorama and the texture I'm using is called Dap Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling. I kind of mixed it with a gel medium simply because I didn't know what I was doing in experimenting with medium so I ended up having to make an ocean wave and it sat here for months and I decided to go ahead and paint it because I was too scared to paint it at first because I get really iffy on messy paintings there all right so I'm going ahead and going layer by layer making sure that you don't get confused as to what I am painting. I actually went for a Van Gogh style painting. And I, after I did that normal, if you've seen in my YouTube shorts, Instagram, TikTok, I did a narwhal that went with the Van Gogh style. And I was waiting to like experiment on that style because after I analyzed Van Gogh paintings, it has like a motion about it and what perfect way to demonstrate motion is an ocean wave so I painted the sunset sky kind of like the starry sky and I felt like maybe I should have used a smaller brush but it's my first time doing this so I'm really kind of liking this whole textured painting I'm usually used to flat blending and smoothness so this is a bit different for me and then waiting for it to dry kind of scatter the result without blending it is new to me because I'm usually like blend 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 smooth 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 
so um, this is kind of different and this is kind of relaxing to just paint something without having to draw and sketch it and mapping out where things are supposed to go instead I'm just going with the flow of wherever the paint colors lead me and I'm trying to mix in and kind of gradiate if that's even a word to get these colors to not look all just blocked like oh purple pink yellow it has to be like yellow pink purple You're like a smooth transition that's what I'm looking for so a transition of colors without it looking obvious and blocky and if you haven't noticed a lot of my artwork always tends to somehow incorporate purple in it no matter what like, I'm always like mm, let me use purple I have to use purple let me use purple 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 it's and then now it's like a mauve color and of course the coral color kind of failed um, I think the coral color when I first started it was more <laughs> coral than it is now and of course yellow and to be honest, I really not sure what I was doing, but the results made it seem like I did. <laughs> I was going back and forth with like, okay, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. And once I make this decision, this is kind of permanent, or I'm gonna be blocking out colors again. So a lot of my paintings are obviously not realistic and they possibly might not ever be. I mean, I've been doing paintings for 10 years off and on, not straight through. Had I been doing it 10 years straight, I would be at hyper-realistic level. Um, but if that's even, if that would even turn into my style, I'm not even sure. Um, but uh, some people have started like maybe a year or two ago and they're like able to do hyper-realistic. That's just not me. Alright, so I started with that darker blue, and I, I just, here's my thing, the colors on the camera, I'm a color person, the colors like blue and green I love using do not show as well, because right now it just looks like a blue, it looks like a light blue, a medium blue, maybe it looks kind of turquoise, but it's not really showing like the blue greens and the sea foam and aquamarine, I'm like a color person. So when a color doesn't come up on any camera that I'm using, I'm kind of like, oh, you guys are missing out on what I'm actually seeing. So here I am adding, I'm, I'm using one wave. I'm not getting complicated. I'm not making this difficult. There's just going to be one wave and we're going to do these values and these colors. I'm kind of like, let me try to make these colors block blend, if that's even a technique. Um, I'm kind of make a blend, but then blocking them out to make it have value, and that's that's me attempting to do that. So as you can see, it has this really nice Van Gogh -y color or Van Gogh -y style, mm -hmm. um, and the sky turned out pretty decent. And let's not ignore that little curvature on the right that's been peeking at my brain. I'm like oh and then here I am adding splashes this is like a white paint mixture with like a varnish it's not really that great but I was just trying to make sure I mapped out what I wanted this ocean wave to kind of look like and I'm not used to doing messy so I didn't know exactly where everything should go but here it is, y'all. I love it. And if you want to see me paint some more, do some tutorials, make sure you subscribe because um, I'm a creating channel. Not necessarily just painting, but you know, I'm trying to get into sculpting and clay making. So, oh, and maybe some dolls one day. But this is all an experimental fun process to see um, but here it is here's my little ocean wave Van Gogh style and 
like I said, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And if you are already here, just stay tuned to my channel for more. All right? And check out my other videos, okay? Keep this algorithm going.